Let me show you how this formula is derived. We know that this is basically max formula and we get magazine structure from max phases. This max phases basically the combination of three different layers. The layer is basically from M atoms, from A atoms, from X atom. The phase may be 2, 1, 1. The phase may be 3, 1, 2. The phase may be 4, 1, 3. So if you look into this, this A is basically not changing here. This A element in all phases. But only changing the M and X, right? Let's first understand that what is M, A and X. We already know that this M is basically from transition metals. In the periodic table, we know that this black is basically transition metal elements, right? And this may be titania, maybe niobium, maybe molybdenum, maybe tungsten. This is all your transition elements, right? If you look into the A basically, A is basically from group A element. This is basically called group A elements, this six. This is the first one is called basically group three elements. And this is basically called the last one is called group six element. So if you look into the literature, the literature mentioned that this group is A is basically, the A element is basically from group A elements and it is from group three A to group six A. This may be silicon, maybe aluminum, maybe germanium, maybe tin, maybe lead, right? And the X is basically only these two, carbon or nitrogen. If it is carbon based, we call carbides. If it is nitrogen based, we call nitrides. If it is on both base, we call it carbonitrides. So let's see the history basically. If you look into the history basically, in 1960, they discovered this space, M2AX where this M2X layer separated by A layer. This means that if this is, this is M layer, right? And this is X here, and this is also M here. And this is basically MX2 here. This means this is MX2. And A is basically here, A. You see here? And similarly, this is again here, MX2. This is how it looks like. Similarly, these are the example basically of this M2X. This basically, this is basically 211 phase here. You see here. Later on, in 1967, they discovered another phase that is 312 phase. You see here. So now here is Ti3C2 layer separated by A. This means that instead of 2 here, this means that th this is now MX2. If it is now MX3, this means that here we have another x layer and let me make it here this is for example one m layer here and this is again x here and this is again m and again x and again m so you can see that there are three m layer three m layer this is this is m basically this is x this is m this is x this is m basically so now this this layer must be separated by a layer and similarly, here is MX3, M3X here. You see here? This is how it looks like. So they discovered uh, this uh, phase and it was based on uh, silicon and germanium. And later on, 1980s, basically they uh, discovered similar phase, but it was based on aluminium, right? And recently, in that time, they, uh, this, these phases did not get any attention. And later now, they discovered this 413 phase, 413 phase. This means that, let me clarify this. This is mean, this is titania here. And this is now N. This is again titania. And now again here N. And this is now again titania. Right? So yeah, again here N now. And again titania here. You see here N. Uh, N and N. Yeah. So this will make one layer here, this is called, and this will be separated by A here, this is now A here, and similarly we have the same layer here. So this, this is how uh, this formula discover, and after this, after this phase, they, they, this is basically the worth of the uh, formula, this formula, and this is we call uh, max phases. This is we call max phases. After this, basically, uh, they, uh, 
they, they, they realize that all these uh, phases basically uh, represent by the uh, same formula. And uh, after 1999, uh, this formula uh, came into existence. This is the max phases. Now when we remove this A, so you will get max Z.